y'all doing? That big man. Trying to get my camera adjusted up here, but uh, yeah, that's how it's gonna go. So, uh, but anyway, I want to uh, want to show show off my uh, my air condition unit I put in here. Uh, if you look, I got uh, uh, it's just getting entirely too hot in here for the dog, so so I came up with this uh, this idea. I had an air condition just sitting around. in them boxes against that cool cool air so so basically that's the way I got it set up if you notice right here is the air conditioner right there I made the nozzle go on there and underneath it's a little uh a little uh, outlets drill hole put it in the pipe goes down into the box Almost every one of them. Oh, almost every one of them. I little puppy in there raising hell. He want to get out, but he ain't getting out. Nope, 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 nope. Mm -hmm. That's uh, uh, brother, brother Darius from Michigan. We're coming to pick him up someday. We're going to Michigan. But uh, anyway, I just wanted you to see this set up. Been working on it for a while, and uh, easy for me to put up and uh, give the dog some uh, some cool air. Cause good dog, it's uh, almost 100 degrees today, almost. You know, almost 100 degrees here in Little Palm County. I feel like getting up of this thing myself, man. I'm trying to take an inventory of my bunny population. Evening time, they come out and sit. Just want to try to get a small count of, of how many I see. These are wild rabbits. These are Kansas cottontails. Trying to keep this camera steady as it's hard. All right. 
here she goes. Dang. And those in themselves in my fine grass and clover. Mm -hmm. Let me just come out. Okay, we know why. The dogs can see him. He ain't worried about them dogs, he know they can't get to him. Genuine Kansas cottontail. Wild as wild can be. Here we gonna let him be. See if I can find another one. That's number three. Okay, there's another one sitting by my shop here. <clears throat> He's here every day. He ain't gonna bother. He usually just keep eating. That's a different rabbit. He's a wild ravish, like I said. Chances cut tail. Look at him. He's just gonna keep eating. Must be something good about that grass around my shop. Because he's there every day.
A lot of these rabbits are trapped in other places and brought out here a couple of years ago. I built uh, wood piles and stuff for them around the property. And uh, ran off the coyotes as best I could. Bobcats, best I could. And uh, they seem to be uh, doing good. I got quite a few of them out here now. They know where to run when them beagles get behind them. They know where to hide it. So, you know, it's too hot for me to run my dogs now. But I don't have a shortage of rabbits, I can tell you that much. I got plenty of rabbits on this property. Doesn't seem to have too many ticks on her ear. I can usually see them, but they got a lot. So. So I'm gonna let this one continue to eat our supper. She'll be eating for a while. And uh, see if I can find a few more. And this is number two. Sitting out in the evening time. Cha cha cha. Hey, one thing, that's the safest place to eat. She don't have to worry about a hawk or an owl coming out on her right there. Wow. Eating a lot of grass. Okay, we're gonna move now. Cotton tails. No phone beagle. No phone beagle. The home of Ware Creek House.
Yes, yeah. 